Hi guys, in today's tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how you can fix not delivery available on your Shopify. This is a very common problem and I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can fix this. Okay, so first thing you need to do guys, you wanna log into your Shopify store, that's the first step. Now, there are a lot like multiple things or multi multiple solutions uh, to fix this problem. Now, we are going to start with the basic things you can do and see if the problem is solved, okay? So, first thing you need to do guys, you want to go to settings at the very bottom left and you want to click on shipping and delivery okay so next thing you need to do guys you want to make sure that you have set up your shipping rates and as you can see here, guys you want to click here it says a new profile okay so after guys you click on your profile you want to select a name your profile for example uh new profile okay you can just name it whatever you want C customers will not see this okay so here you want to add the products okay you want to add products where you have this problem uh where like customers uh, the products uh that a lot of like your a lot of uh, of your customers complain about okay so you want to add here the products here i'm going to add this product and i'm going to click on done so you want to scroll down a little bit and here you want to add shipping zone okay so the shipping zone for example uh by the way this is a very very uh like common problem a lot of people have is when they are trying to ship to uh, united arab emirates okay so when you like when you select this country make sure you select other states in the country as you can see because emirates like it has like uh seven states okay make sure you check all these states uh in case you didn't, you didn't do that okay so here you just need to find countries that you would like to ship to okay so for example i would like to ship to all countries in asia okay and i would like to ship to for example all countries in europe okay so you can choose all these or you can like deselect any country you don't like to ship to for example you don't want to ship to france you can just untoggle it like uh like uh, turn it off okay just uh, uh like uh, and check uh friends or any country you don't like to ship so after that you want to click on done okay make sure you name the zone here i'm going to name it countries uh, i would like to ship to okay and then you want to click on done now after that you want to add the rate okay the shipping rate which is the shipping price in order to be able to ship to these countries now i'm going to add a rate here and as you can see customer rate i'm going to add here standard and here the price you can uh, leave it as free shipping by adding 0 0.00 I'm going to click on done and I'm going to click on save and now we have created a profile for uh, the products okay so if this problem is still there then what you guys need to do you want to go to locations okay so like I said I'm going to show you guys multiple things you can do you want to go to locations and here you want to click on how, like if you have like multiple locations make sure you check this box that says you want to click on the location and make sure you check the box that says here uh continue selling okay here it says use inventory at this location to fulfill orders you want to toggle it on as you can see if you have like if you don't have like multiple locations you can add here a location and you can just check this box that says uh use inventory at this location to fulfill orders you want to toggle it on and that's exactly what you guys need to do okay so see if the problem is still there or not okay if you already have like multiple profiles you want to click on each profile and see what's wrong there okay you want to scroll down and make sure the shipping rates are added as you can see when i add the shipping rates for each profile as you can see here i'm going to do that right now i'm going to enter here standard and here the price which is going to be i'm going to charge for example ten dollars okay click done make sure you save your changes and see if the problem is still there okay also this problem may be caused because like some products or if you have like two profiles and like one profile like products ended up listed in the uh australian for example australia shipping profile you just need to go to the profile and delete all the items there like just click on this x here and after you delete all the items in the australia for example profile or france profile uh they will automatically like default be defaulted back to the us okay if you are shipping to the us i hope you guys understand this you just need to go to the profile for example if you have like multiple profiles um like your customers in the us have this problem but your customers from 
another country they don't have like this no delivery uh, problem okay uh, no deliver no if I no delivery available problem now you just need to click on the profile where uh, you have added the products and you want you can delete them there and then they will be defaulted back to uh, US profile okay uh, to US like regions you can also go to the products to your products and see if there is any problem with the weight okay so make sure the, the weight and the size is correct because this is very very uh, bad like if you have like entered the wrong size like the shipping company will not accept it or they will not be able to ship it that's why your customers see no delivery available so you want to click on each and also also you want to click on each product okay and you want to scroll down and you want to check this box where it says continue selling when out of stock okay just select this one and click on save and you can also add here the quantity probably like there is some problem with your with the quantity on your products you want to add here more quantity and if you have like products with multiple sizes you want to click on each variant enable uh, to be able to check this box that says continue selling when out of stock i'm going to show you how you can do that just go to the product where you have like different variations scroll down and as you can see we have like this product with different variations click on each variant and you will be able to I'm going to click this and you will be able to check that box that says here uh continue selling going out of stock okay as you can see here okay so see now if the problem is still there okay. also guys you want to enable international market if you are shipping internationally or you just need to enable the market okay for example you want to go to settings markets and here you want to click on the market for example international market make sure you click on this active here in the top right if it's inactive you want to activate it and make sure you click on save so that you can save your changes okay so if you still have this problem let me know in the comments guys uh what message exactly do you receive when your customers um like try to complete the checkout when they try to purchase the item from your store just let me know in the comments what problem what message exactly and i will reply guys with a solution okay so hopefully this tutorial guys helped you if it does leave a like if you have any questions like i said let me know in the comments i reply to every single comment see you guys in the next tutorial